Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. So here we have this function. The function is one upon Z one minus Z. We are going to find its Lorentz expansion for the given domain. One less than mod Z minus two less than two. Okay. So see in denominator, we have two terms Z and Z minus one. So our first task is to make them separate with the help of partial fraction. So let us do. See in partial fraction, when we have the such two terms, what we do, we consider a upon first term plus b upon z minus one. So a and b are some constants. We don't know that they are values, and we assume that we can express this function in this way. So let me mention assume. So now our target is to find values of a and b. So we can express this function as a sum of two terms, right? Let us do that. Let us find the values of a and b. So first of all, I will cross multiply. Let us see what will happen if I cross multiply a into that bracket plus b into this z divided by product of denominators. Okay, so we are familiar with cross multiplication. Product of these two plus product of these two divided by product of denominators. Okay, see we can easily see these two terms are equal and having same denominators. So let us cancel denominator and we will equate numerators. So therefore, what we get one is equal to. So the numerator is one. And what is the numerator? We have a z minus one plus b z. So let us recall our target. Our target is to find the values of a and b. So for that, I'm going to put z is equal to something. So easily we will get the values of a and b. So let us do putting z is equal to. So what do you think what I should put here? See, if I put z is equal to one, no, we will have zero here and easily we'll get the value of b. So for that, I'm going to put z is equal to one. See, in left hand side, we have one. If I put one here, one minus one, zero and zero into anything, zero plus here. I'm also putting one. So we'll have b. So that's why the value of b is one. So easily we got the value of b. So let us work on a second constant. We have to find a value of a. What do you think what we need to put? Putting. What do you think? Uh, see, I need to put z is equal to zero. If I put z is equal to zero, this term will be zero and we will have the value of a. Let us do. So therefore, left hand side is one a and here zero minus one. If put z is equal to zero, we'll have zero. So therefore, one is equal to minus a. That means a is equal to minus one. So in this way, I got the values of a and b. So therefore, let me write here. Therefore, therefore, the f of z can be expressed as f of z a upon z. But now the value of a is minus one, so it is minus one upon z plus b. What is b? One. So it is one upon z minus one. So in this way, we have made them separate. So let us work on uh, the domain now. So, okay, they have given domain to us. So let us see what is the domain, and for that we will find Lorentz expansion. So the domain is. Let me mention the domain is. Domain is one less than mod z minus two less than two. So let us talk about its geometry first, and then we'll go further. Uh, see when we have inequality now, we replace it by equality, so we can easily find the region. So here, if I write equality, I got this one. If I write equality here, mod z minus two is equal to two. So this is equation of circle. Getting now? This is the center of circle, which is two, and one is radius of this circle. So let me draw here. Uh, see, this is imaginary axis. This is real axis. Okay. Oh uh, yes. One, two, three, four. Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. Okay, okay. Or uh, see, what is the center two here? Two that means two comma zero. So you can easily see we have a center here, and the radius is one. So let me draw a circle with center zero and radius one. So we'll have a circle like this. See, I'm drawing a dotted uh, circle because we have strictly less than. See. Mod z minus two is greater than one. That means greater than radius. That means we have to consider the exterior part of that circle. Okay, we have to consider the exterior part of the circle. So let us talk about this one. So this is also equation of circle with center two, 
and what is its radi radius 2 again. That means here we get a circle with same center. Center is 2 comma 0. Both of them have a same center, just radius is different which is 2. So we'll have a larger circle. Okay, so we have a circle like this. I'm drawing a rough sketch. Getting? I'm drawing the rough sketch of circle. But see that mod z minus 2 less than 2, that means interior part of outer circle. That means what we get? The region which lies or which is in exterior part of a smaller circle, but interior part of a larger circle. That means the region is this one getting. So this is a region of convergence. So this ring we get, or you can say annular region. Okay. So such type of ring we get. So for that region, we have to find the Lorentz expansion. So this is a region of convergence. Okay. Of a given series. Uh, see, let us work on it. Uh, let me... Uh, remind you one thing that is when we find Lorentz expansion now mostly we use these two series 1 plus z plus z square plus z cube and so on with a condition mod z less than 1 and 1 upon 1 plus z is equal to 1 minus z plus z square minus z cube and so on with mod z less than 1. So that means when we find Lorentz series mostly we use these two series. See, both series are valid for this condition mod z less than 1, here also mod z less than 1. So here also in this example also I am going to do the same, I am going to use these two series. Uh, let us work on a condition. See actually two inequalities we have, so uh, we can express in this way also 1 less than mod z minus 2 and mod z minus 2 less than 2. So I split the given condition in two parts first part and second part. You can easily see here the mod is always less than 1. That means in the right hand side we always want 1 in the right hand side. Okay, for this one this is the right hand side. We want 1 here so that's why we shift this bracket to the denominator of left hand side. So we get 1 upon z minus 2 less than 1. So yes we are satisfied now since in right hand side we have got less than 1 that means condition is satisfied here okay and see here in right hand side we have two but what we want one in right hand side always we want one so here i'm going to shift this two in left hand side so it will be in denominator mod z minus two less than two okay so these two conditions we have and using them we will find Lorentz expansion so let us recall the function which we have uh, they have given to us and we have expressed in this way so we have let me write we have f of z is equal to minus 1 by z plus 1 upon z minus 1. Okay. So we need to keep in our mind whatever inside mod. So that term we need to adjust everywhere, everywhere. Okay. So in mod we have z minus 2. Do we have z minus 2 here? No. That means we need to work on first term. Z minus 2 we want. Do we have Z minus 2 here? No. That means we have to work on second term also. If fortunately if you get Z minus 2 as it is, then we do not disturb that term. But see, in both for both terms, we don't have Z minus 2. So we need to adjust it. Let us see how to adjust. Minus 1 upon. We want Z minus 2. We have Z only. So Z minus 2 plus 2. It is adjusted, right? So minus 2 plus 2 cancel, we'll have z and the z minus 2 want that thing also we have got here. So will you guess what I need to do? We want z minus 2 here, but we have z minus 1. So I will do, what will I do? z minus 2 plus 1. Minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 and z minus 2 that bracket also we have got here. Okay. See, there is no more space to write. So make a screenshot of it. Then I will go further. Okay. So uh, let us go further. So let me write here f of z is equal to. See you remember in last video I told you one technique. So that technique is whatever in denominator we get. Okay in condition whatever we get in denominator that term we take common. So here z minus 2 is in denominator that means we should take z minus 2 common. And in denominator we have 2 that means 2 also we have to take common. So now we are confused. We have two terms. So from where we have to take z minus 2 common and from where we have to take 2 common. 
See here we can take z minus 2 common, here also we can take z minus 2 common. But see that 2 we have in first term only. That means 2 can, can be taken common from first two term only. So that's why I will take 2 common from a first term and I will take z minus 2 common from the second term. So let us do. So I am going to take 2 common here. So minus 1 is there. 2 if you take common, there is no any 2. So I should write z minus 2 by 2, right? And if you take 2 common, we will have plus 1 only. Uh, see, plus I am writing the second term here. Here I am taking z minus 2 common. So let us take z minus 2 common. So if you take z minus 2 common, we will have 1 plus there is no z minus 2, so I should write 1 upon z minus 2. If you multiply, you should get the previous term again. Getting So if you take product, you will have the previous term here also, you will have the previous term. So let us expand now. So minus 1 by 2, I am writing here. Okay, let me write properly, minus 1 by 2. See, in a both series, always we want 1 first. Let us do that. Let us interchange since plus sign is there, so we can easily interchange them. Okay, so this is my 2, huh? let me write properly, plus 1 upon z minus 2, here also I will, do, uh, 1 is already there, so no need to worry, so this is equal to minus 1 by 2, so now there is one question in my mind, can we expand, can we use this expansion 1 upon, here also minus 1 by 2 I written here, so yes, 1 upon, what we have, 1 plus z minus 2 by 2. I have written properly. Here also I will do the same. I am writing that z minus 2 as it is and 1 upon 1 plus 1 upon z minus 2. Okay. So this is equal to minus 1 by 2. So tell me can we use this expansion? Let us see. 1 in numerator we have 1 here. 1 plus here also 1 plus at a place of z we have z minus 2 by 2. See but the condition is this z mod of z must be less than 1. That means mod of this term must be less than 1. Then only we can expand it. See mod of this one. Yes, mod of this one. Uh, see, if I shift 2 here, I, sh I need to write 1. No, yes. If I shift 2 here, I need to write 1. And the condition is satisfied. So let us do that. So I can expand. Uh, uh, ex I, I can use this expansion since the condition is satisfied. So 1 minus. At a place of z, we have this z minus 2 by 2 z minus 2 by 2 plus z minus 2 by 2 square minus z minus 2 by 2 cube and so on. Okay, so in this way I have I have expressed okay uh, first term in a form of series. So let us work on second plus 1 upon z minus 2. So now the question is can I use the same expansion for this term? 1 upon 1 plus 1 upon 1 plus at a place of z we have 1 upon z minus 2. But the condition is that mod of z must be less than 1. That means here mod of this term must be less than 1. Is mod of this term less than 1? Yes, mod of this term less than 1. That means definitely I can use this expansion. So let us do. So at a place of z we have this 1 upon z minus 2. So 1 minus 1 upon z minus 2 plus 1 upon z minus 2 square minus 1 upon z minus 2 cube plus and so on. So this is a required Lorentz series. If you want to solve it further, you can take product of this 1 upon z minus 2 to each term, then you will have the next step. Okay. Otherwise, this can be a Lorentz expansion of a given function. So make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. See you.